Easy smiles. Hmm. Wow. Nice place. Hmm. Professor Russell is here. Hmm. No, I think he's in the workshop. Hmm. Probably is. Through this door. Hmm. We should go and say hi then. We should, should we? Ah, a little teeter. A little teeter. I mean, he doesn't seem to be here, but he's here. That looks strange, the way he's just, you know, uh, moving there like me. <laughs> I'm home, Grandpa. Okay, maybe this way. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So this is the professor. Yeah, nice to um, meet you. My name is Estelle Bright, one of the Bracer Guild. We actually came to get your expert opinion on... Um... Got it! <laughs> ah, I did it! It's finally complete! That's right, who's the man? I'm the man! Yes, I should start testing it at once. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. He's busy. What, what the hell? I'm sure he's still. Help a kind of goes into a trance when he's working, and he doesn't really notice what's going on around him. So you don't shave. I think he just finished up the device he's been working on for the past few days. Hmm, yeah, I see. It really is something. Hmm. Oh, he's something alright. Hmm, so fast. I mean, what can you say, you know? They do say there's a very fucking thin line between genius and madness, and, uh, well, maybe the good professor kinda, you know, teeters a bit on the brink a bit too much. Hmm, Grandpa, yeah, some people here would need to talk to you. Hmm? Oh, Dita, I've come at just the right time. I need your help with compiling the data for these tests. Hmm. Yeah, but, Grandpa, yeah. this new invention will actually block a biosensor of man's detection facilities. It emits a unique orbital force field that deflects the energy that the biosensor sends out when it scans. Hmm. Oh, really? You can see the, the, the slight spark in her eyes going like, oh, really? My, my soul is screaming for me to get involved. <laughs> yes, really. And then do I overstate my own accomplishments? Now, come on, we've got testing to do. Hmm, right. <laughs> well, Tita is getting all excited. Research and Tita begin working with some complex looking equipment. Hmm, I know. <laughs> Never mind, Estelle. I think we should just let them be for a while. Hey, you with the black hair. Uh, who? Me? Wells. Uh, on the upstairs bookcase is an old book titled Orbital Energy is Applied to Force Fields. Go get it. On, be quick about it. Mm, Alright. Uh, wait, Joshua! Don't leave me alone. Hey, young lady, you with the antenna here. Yeah, antenna. <laughs> I mean. She kind of has a bit of an antenna going on there. A very distinct antenna when you think about it. Right, quite literally. Centrally. Focused. Interesting. Never really seen much or thought much about it, but okay. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Quit farting around, make some coffee. Why should I have to make co coffee? I take it back. Uh, by the way, I want it clear as much. That's not very clear. Also, that's it's gonna kill your stomach in the long run. I'm not hearing a word I say. Hmm, fine, whatever. So it's like, I'm gonna give up now. Hmm, yep, perfect. All well, set, Grandpa. Just as fast as ever. Oh. And where's that at Joshua? Oh. Come to think of it, I do wish we call a couple of young folks. Might have set along some fresh faces then, I presume. <laughs> uh, and so was said, Joshua inadvertently wound up as assistants in the experiment. After many small, but relatively harmless explosions and some singeing of uh, the eyebrows, the day gave way to evening. Very much safe. <laughs> Sorry about all that. I just assumed you were both new employees at the Central Factory, uh, so it's very natural that you wound up being drafted as assistants. Yes, there's no laughing matter. Especially since the only thing you had to be helping with for making coffee. Let's can bang metal parts together too, old man. Relax yourself. You got some valuable experience out of the deal in the end. Often does one get to participate in startup based on a brand new job of Walkman after all. Hm. Well now, you're a bright lad, aren't ya? 
want to give up this brace of nonsense and start up in the field of orbital engineering. <laughs> well, uh, really sorry guys. I guess he got caught up in a moment too. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, you are family. It's kind of probably running in the blocky blood at this point. <laughs> Don't need to apologize, sweetie. Hmm, but about the father of the orbital revolution. It's going to be some really amazing man. That's some old farm with attention deficit issues. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you're too kind. Moving on, so I'm being paid a visit by the children of Cassius. It's quite a surprise. I really do know that. Yep, from way back when. Known him since his army days, some 20 years or so. That's a long time ago, Jesus Christ. I've met him too. He had the really nice moustache, right? You know, I don't know if I'd call it nice, or just suspicious looking. But if he's known dead for that long, it looks like we'll be safe and trusting. You know what? With Professor Russell, after all. Hmm, yes, I have to agree. Hmm, what are you talking about? And what was it you wanted my help with? Well, I shall explain to the professor the whole sequence of events surrounding the Black Orpment. Black. Hmm, I see. Hmm, me, Peach Black Orpment. It's most intriguing, with no inscribed caliber or seams. Look at the frame, too. Professor Russell produced a cutting tool from his belt. Without a word, he pushed the blade's edge against the outer shell of the augment. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's a special alloy steel cutter. Hmm, just as I thought. Here, take a look. <laughs> okay. So your Shwantit appeared intently at the black augment. Huh? Yes, not even a scratch. Hmm. The frame is made from some type of metal that I've never before encountered. Opening it up for a closer look is going to be quite the task, I think. Hmm. It's just crazy. And if we can't find some way to open it, we'll be right back to square one. Well, I can certainly spend some time trying. But first, I think that maybe we should put it under a measurement scale. Hmm. What now? Hmm. That huge piece of equipment you saw when we were working on the experiment. It can gauge all energy activity in real time. That's good. Make him head talk with your techno bubble. Just tell me what using that thing will accomplish. Put it in layman's terms, it'll allow us to see what this augment does. We won't be able to draw any definitive conclusions, just for measuring what kind of orbital activity is occurring, but it's a start. Hmm, it should give us a major clue. Indeed. So, without further ado. <laughs> Grandpa, shouldn't we have lunch first? Hmm, sure. Save your show. You're both welcome to join us. I can't promise it be anything special, but. Hmm, challenge great to me. I still have for some lunch, that's not surprising. We'll even help with prep. Hmm, Alright, come on then. I've gotta be there too while lunch is prepared. <laughs> no, I wanna see too. No fair work when I'm not around. My house, my rules. Fair point. Like, I pay the bills, my rules. What's up with those two? <laughs> I'll see where she gets it. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Why is everybody so bright? What happened, Joshua? They'll have you ascended to heaven. <laughs> Something. Really is bright, that thing. Um, uh, everyone is ready? Let's get this started. Still, so, you put the augment on the stage. Hmm. Okay. Blop. Hmm. Like this? Yes, thank you. Are you ready to do, ready to rumble? I mean, she has a cannon. It's gonna be some rumble. That's it. Good, good. Now, commencing all the force measurement test on the Black Augment. Black Augment. That's going to be the official name after all. Not using it officially, so boring and simple. Why not uh, something cool like um, Dark Thingy of Impending Doom? No, no. Simple is best. If you're not going to black augment, it would just be annoying to say. I mean, you can shorten it to BO. Yes, just do it like the military and shorten everything. And um, especially quite, there are languages where I will admit it is absolutely necessary to do it because otherwise you would never get anything done. Because, you know, if uh, one of your vehicles is quite literally called the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 572, then shortening it to SDK is. Is a good way. It's a good start. Fuck's sake, why do you have to be such a pain in the ass? I mean, you know, one of the greatest problems with the German language is actually counting. Because 
you know how you write uh, let's say 52 that's 5 2 right now in german we write it that way but we don't say it that way what we are saying is 2 5 or rather 250 in this case particular 52 it's 2 and 50 and so when you learn the language and you're coming from for example english you're gonna get fucked by that alone quite a bit I don't even know why we're doing it. It's fucking idiotic, but it is a pain. I remember when I was a child and I was in like, um, what was it? Um, basically very, very early elementary school. And we started learning numbers and we started going in the bigger numbers. Like, you know, uh, a bit over 10, uh, going all the way up to 100. And we kind of had to uh, start doing simple math things. And I got confused as fuck by that. Ah, oh, such an annoying. It's like, it's written 5, 2, but I'm saying 2 and 50. Why, why, why language do you do this to me? <laughs> eh. But yeah, teacher's like, <laughs> I, I'm excited. Oh, look at her. She's all anxious to start. <laughs> ah, she's excited. What is science? All right, let's begin. Tita, if you will activate the scanner, please. Okay. Mm, output set at 45. But all measuring equipment on standby. Mm, Roger. Mm, done. All measuring equipment is calibrated. Okay. From here on out, it's the real deal. With no direct input or output was detected, all we can do is measure how the central crystal circuit responds. Now let's see just how much this contraption is really worth. Mm, I'm sure in a good mood. And click! Hmm, neat, it's all glowing and stuff. I get it, it's putting a major, uh, a major strain on the crystal circuit. Oh, yeah, there. Peter, any readings? Hmm, yes, yeah, I'm kind of weird. Hmm? The tachometer needle's shaking like crazy. Yeah. No, it's spinning around the dial. What? And now it's like, fuck you, bitch. I'm not gonna let you scan me. What's going on here? Hmm, sure. It's that same black light from before. Ploing. What? Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. It killed all the fucking orb lights. And yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be pricey. It's not just, you know, killing your own uh, uh, apartment or housing unit's electricity. No, this is actually killing the whole fucking cities. <laughs> right, bar. it won't take much more of this. You have to shut it down. Don't you dare. Just a little longer and we'll have something. Um, wait a second. All the lights in town are going out. Huh? What an... Ah, we have no choice then. Terminating the experiment. I think he really, really hates that. It probably would have just continued. Hmm. Yeah, I'm back on. See you. Let's see the readout. Nothing. It didn't record anything. The only thing that kept working was the scanner on which the black orb had set. Not even that well. For everything else? Hmm. Good. Looks like the experiment's finished. How was it outside? Fine. All the lights are back. Like nothing happened. Still a lot of people panicking though. Okay. But what in the hell was all that? Hmm, that. But I would dub the horrible shutdown phenomenon uh, OSP for short, because fuck you, I can shorten this even more. Or OSP. Ah, I do know some people who shorten like this. Oh boy, I do know some people. What down? You mean how everything inside uh, all the augments just stopped working at once? Tony Black Orbman did this. Yes, I have no doubt. I would never have dared to guess that its effect would be so extensive. Hmm. There's definitely more to this than I expected. Interesting. Most interesting indeed. Hmm. Only you would think causing a blackout of an entire city is interesting. Professor! Ah, Murdoch, just the man I wanted to see. The feeling is not mutual. Every single time you invent something, it means trouble for me. 
What the hell were you up to that would cause all of the power down to underground? How oh, rude. It's not even my fault this time. It is there. That's the black orb mat. It did cause this. Standing. Okay, I get it. That's the root of this, then. It's genuine, insinuating circumstances. For once. But it still means it is not your fault. Yeah, that's... you got me. <laughs> hmm. That's it. Yeah, just okay again. Are they always like this? Mm. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Like, ah, yeah. And, ah, always. So the first day in Zeiss kept everyone busy. Due to how late it was, Sam and Yosha stayed at the lab for the night. Hmm. Nice, they let us stay. Man, yesterday was such a crazy day. It was surprised enough at the town, but he was not expecting to deal with anything like that. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I don't think anybody was expecting that. Back on the subject of the Black Orphanage, it's much more powerful than I'd ever imagined possible. I mean, didn't it stop a fucking literal artifact that stopped time? Pretty damn powerful, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. What's the prof gonna do now that his equipment's gone all kaploofy? Good morning, guys. Proto T Draw. Good morning, Tito. Good morning. Quite a big day yesterday. <laughs> no kidding. Did you guys sleep okay? Mm, yep. Yeah. Right, babies. Is the professor already up? Oh. He left for the central factory only this morning. He said something about how he was going to expose all the Black Ops secrets. Well, wow. looks like getting rotted over and over. But the factory chiefs yesterday didn't even put a dent in him. I mean, you know, he's a scientist. <laughs> you kind of need to be somewhat obsessed with your subject, otherwise you'd probably stop doing all of the science stuff. Well, technically speaking, he's more of an engineer, isn't he? <laughs> really appreciate both of you taking the time just to go over something a couple of relative strangers brought you. <laughs> no, it's fine, really. We went past investigating it out of curiosity, more than anything. I should go to the factory myself, once I'm done with breakfast. What do you plan to do? Naturally, we'll be coming with you. Now you want to know what's really going on with that open too. Hmm. Maybe there's something we can do to help? Hmm. Hey, you can come with me. Yay! Party! Assemble! Hmm. Hey, you almost forgot about our soup. Just a second, you two. I'll bring you breakfast as soon as I make sure it's edible and not on fire. <laughs> I guess that's what that smell is. Man, what a cutie! I don't agree on that much. She is kinda cute. The small one. Hm, I wish we could take her back with us to Roland. Would be like a pet, cheering us up whenever we are feeling down. Um this that's that's really kind of creepy, Estelle. Ah, blast. Only a woman can get away with pet. Imagine a man going like, oh yes, I want to keep her as a pet. <laughs> You'd be in the prison faster than you could say, but Yeah. Now that we've had a good breakfast. Hmm? Off to the center of victory. Before we do that, I'd like to check in at the guild. I think it might be best to report on what happened yesterday, just to be on the safe side. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, Tita, would you mind if he stopped by there on the way? Hmm. Sure, go ahead. Well, Tita. 